All right, guys, what is going on? And welcome back to an episode of our Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. Hopefully, you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you go ahead and drop a like down below. Guys, today we are taking on the Elite Four. So this episode needs all your support. One like does go a long way and help support the series. And since we're almost at the end of it, all your support does mean a lot. So a couple things I do want to go over before uh, we actually start the episode off and do a team recap and all that fun stuff is the first thing. First thing, first thing, first thing is um, what's it called? Um, so obviously we're taking on the Elite Four today, and I decided I want to take on the Elite Four and the Champion in different episodes. So this episode we're going to do the whole Elite Four, the next episode you'll see the Champion in the finale of the main game. And now I'll make you guys a deal. I think it's pretty rude of me for me to upload both of those on different days because the suspense, you know? So if this video right here gets 300 likes in the first hour that it's up, I'll have, I'll be, you know, I'll give a little leeway. So if this episode hits 300 likes in the first hour that it's up, I will upload the champion battle later today. So this episode probably went up at like 1, 1 or 12 p.m. EST, probably 12. And the next episode, if you guys do 300 likes in the first hour, will go up at 3 p.m. EST, so you won't have to wait too long for the finale, uh, but if you guys want it, then you gotta get it up to 300 likes. Like I said, your support does mean a lot. Another thing is that the Diamond and Pearl Randomizer Nuzlocke Versus actually started yesterday. It's of course me and Sacred, or Nick as I, you know, as I call him. Uh, you guys definitely don't want to miss that series. Make sure you check it out after this video. You have time if you want to watch this video and you want to watch that and then come back for the finale. Of course, you have all the time in the world, but check out that, support it, do all that fun stuff, but either way, here we are on Mount Lani Killa. Because today, like I said, we're going to be taking on the champion. Now, before I show you guys our team, let's you know, let's take the walk, the uh, this long walk all the way up here, and uh, let's talk to the boy Kukui and see what's up. Because this is very important. This is where he gives us the whole speech about how, uh, of course I'm not gonna read it, but <laughs> it's rather important. He's telling us this is the place. We're about to go ahead and take on the champion. He's like, he went over, and we're about to take on the Elite Four, and he's talking to us about how Encanto is hard for him. So this, I don't know how I remember this part. I mean, I guess obviously it's the last little bit I played of Sun and Moon. So I guess it's probably why I remember it the most. But here we go. And I love this Elite Four, by the way. I think it's such a cool location. And it, it just looks really cool. It really does look cool. It's all shiny. It's all shiny. Before you head in, make sure you're good and ready. You won't be able to come back out. And I do believe we are 110% ready to take on this Elite Four and Champion. I'm really scared, by the way. I really am scared, but our squadron is looking like this. We got our homeboy Brohawk with Volt Switch, Wild Charge, Discharge, and Nature's Madness. Optimus, the uh, Metagross with Bullet Punch, meta, uh, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, and Takedown. Cabbage, the Serena, the brand new team member with Captivate, Aromatherapy, Leaf Storm, and High Jump Kick, holding the Grass MZ. Delta, the Lycan Rock with Stone Edge, a Cell Rock, Rock Climb, and Crunch. Hot Rod, the Talon Flame with Roost, uh, Acrobatics, Flame Charge, and Flail. And Tank, the Golurk, the new team member, also along with Serena, with Shadow Punch, Brick Brick, Earthquake, and Heavy Slam. Now, one thing I do want to do really quickly is actually give the Ghost DMZ to Tank. I don't know why I didn't do that. Or maybe I should give the Ground DMZ to Tank. Which one would be better? Um, let's do the Ground DMZ. Let's give that to Tank. I don't know. Why not? Or maybe Ghost DMZ because our Ghost move isn't that good. I should do that one. Yeah, because we have Shadow Punch, which is decent, you know, Stab and Iron Fist, but if we can turn that into a Never Ending Nightmare, I believe it's called. No, not Never. Yeah, it is. I don't know. That'd be really, really good. Uh, but let's just go ahead and make our way into the Elite Four. I'm just going to lead with Tapu Koko. Obviously, it doesn't really matter who we lead with. Um, but now we have to make a decision based purely off of, you know, which one do we want to take on first because none of them are going to be easier than the other. Or they will, but we don't know which ones. So obviously, uh, I don't know which one we're going to take on first. I, uh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You see, I like the Elite Fours where you didn't have to choose and you just did them in a set order because that way, you know, it doesn't lead into this. Um, eeny, meeny, mighty, mo, catch a time going this one. Let's just do Olivia first. It doesn't matter. I think that, yeah, Olivia, that's the rock one. All right, so let's do this, man. Let's freaking do this. I'm actually so nervous, guys. I really shouldn't be. We're level 56, which should put us one level above pretty much all of the Elite Four members, I think. And then we'll be two levels under the Ace of Kukui. 
which would normally be his Incineroar, uh, Decidueye, or Primarina. But let's just go ahead and talk to her. No introduction needed here. Time to battle me, Olivia. And I, you know, cutting right to the chase. I feel it. I definitely feel it. All right, she has no teeth either. I don't know. What, oh, no, those are lips. I don't know what it is with, you know, girls in the Pokemon world and not having teeth, but I don't know. Maybe you should see like a dentist or something. But here we go. What's her leaf? Don't, don't, don't bring out like the power immediately, please. Let's see. Hey, Kyogre. Okay, well. You know what, I, when I said don't bring out the power, I definitely didn't say, you know, except for a Kyogre. Thank you, I, I really appreciate you bringing out a freaking Kyogre. Oh my god, this is so scary, man. I am not about to ki I'm not playing around with this thing at all. I'm pretty sure Gigavolt Havoc will just annihilate this thing. We have a pretty good physical attack stat. Get out of here. I'm not messing around with this thing. No way. If this doesn't kill, we probably lost our Tapu Koko, which really sucks. But at the same time, we're gonna have so much damage off. Oh my god. I, I, this is so scary. Speaking of legendary Pokemon, I was uh, walking around in Mount uh, Lanakila and at the grass patch. I was looking for like items and stuff, and I was trying to get the last couple levels. And I found I, I, I found an encounter, and I looked away, and I was doing something on my computer, and I looked back at my DS, and there was a Mars Shadow, and I was like, oh, <laughs> like I, I definitely forgot that was a thing. I was so shocked. All right, Ball Toy. Thank God we got that one shot. I don't know what I would do without it. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, let's just annihilate this thing with the Shadow Punch. Yeah, man, that's, that's wild. A Kyogre, the first thing. Hopefully, you know, this whole Elite Four isn't filled with a crazy amount of legendaries. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but this thing shouldn't be able to do too much to us. I'm just going to Shadow Punch it. And that should kill it, right? Yeah, Shadow Punch is pretty good. It, it really is. It's boosted by Iron Fist, and I really wish we had No Guard though, so I could have kept Dynamic Punch. I ended up getting rid of it for Brick Break just because I'd rather actually hit the move. Ah, uh, perfect, Cabbage. Our team actually gets annihilated by Crocodile, holy crap. Hold on, we're about to go over this. We're about to go over this really quickly, about how bad our team gets absolutely penetrated by Crocodile. I just realized this. You know, see, it's actually pretty good that we have Leaf Storm now, uh, but look at this. Uh, it's crunched. If he has a rock move, I get rock move. Earthquake, earthquake, earthquake. This is so bad. I don't know why I picked this team and thought, hey, we're definitely gonna be fine against Po. Oh, God. Boosted its speed? What? Did he just use Z Sandstorm? So normally does one of her Pokemon have the ground DMZ or did that get randomized to the ground DMZ? Cuz that's freaking ridiculous. I don't know if the second leaf storm will kill. I'm going to go for high jump kick now. Actually, she's probably just going to heal. Oh, I mean, I guess this is a turn to go for it and see how much it'll do with Drew. Bile Plume. Oh, okay. <gasps> no, the Sandstorm! No, 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 no! Why did you have to miss, man? She killed herself again! <laughs> the time we were trying to freaking catch her, she killed herself, and now she killed herself. What is up with this, man? Now, we seriously don't have anything for Crocodile. Like, I still want that to be noted. Maybe, oh, hold on. I'm going to see if I can get it to waste her potion on Vile Plume. I'm going to see if I can get that to happen. Because that way when she switches in Crocodile, she won't use it. So I'm going to go for Flail. This shouldn't do anything. Oh, well, really don't want to do anything now. Petal Blizzard. All right, I think I'm going to just fully heal myself. Oh, never mind. The sandstorm went away. Okay, let's go for it now. Nothing. Cool. Next turn, she should use a max potion if she does have one. Um. So yeah, if we can get her to burn it, I don't know how many she'll have. I I would assume just one. But I don't know. Please use it if you have one. Petal Blizzard. 
This move doesn't trap you, right? No, it doesn't. I'm gonna try this again. Does she only use it on her ace? I don't know. I guess we really can't force her to use it. Maybe she only uses it on her, her ace? I don't think Vileplume's her ace. It's level 54, so I don't think so. All right, well, I'm just gonna kill with the flame charge and see if I can get faster than I normally am, but it's actually really frustrating. I really wanted her to force that. If she comes out with Crocodile and uses, well, first I'm gonna get intimidated, so that's gonna suck. Um, and I really don't want to be a turn behind on that thing. I really don't. Oh well. Oh, I should have went for Flame Charge. Oh well. Uh, this Crocodile is so scary, man. I really don't want to play around with it. Like I said, our team actually gets railed by it. All right, I have an idea. If she wants, well, obviously first I'm gonna get my stats dropped. All right, if you wanna heal up, you're gonna take a brick break. Um, I know it's not that threatening considering you have Intimidate, but. Oh, thank God, oh my God. We were gonna have a real problem if she did. That thing was plus speed when it used Z Sandstorm. Thank the Lord. We, I don't know if she ever burned a potion or not. I didn't even see. Miss Magius. Um, we have Crunch. See, the cool thing about... I mean, not the cool thing. The bad thing about Ghost is obviously, it's, you know, we could super effective hit it, but we'd also be weak to, like, Shadow Ball. And I don't really like that. Uh, we can Crunch this thing, though. Not sure if it'll kill, but... Should do a lot. I know these things actually get Magical Leaf, but I'm banking on it not having it. Uh, we also get plus uh, Special Defense because of the Sandstorm, so I wasn't too worried. Um, now if we want to, we can just Cell Rock this thing, and that's it. Cool. So there we go. I think we beat Olivia. I don't think she has any more Pokemon. Yep, there we go. We got one unfortunate death. Um... I, I'm just scared for the rest of the Elite Four. That was the, only the first battle, man. And that Crocodile was stressful as hell. If there are any more Crocodiles, we are actually so screwed. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Alright, so let's go for a Hyper Potion. Actually, we don't even need to. We can just go for like a regular potion or something. I don't even have any. Wow. Oh well, I'm gonna, oh wait, hold on. Berries, 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 berries. Boom. Boom. Wait, Cetrus? Nope. Oh, we have it, that's fine. Oh yeah, by the way, Rare Candies, I know, it's 2017, I'm not gonna grind. Uh, if you think I'm grinding all those levels, you actually have me messed up, grinding from like, uh, the freaking golet from a Golurk. I, I admit it. You, everyone know. Okay, pretty much every reviewer of mine, you know, I use Rickanes to level up my Pokemon when I have to level them up a crazy amount. I never do it if I have to level it up two levels. I think that's just stupid. Uh, but yeah, I know. I know I lose EVs and stuff, but I use it because it saves time and I have my own life too. I don't just want to be like trapped in my freaking room grinding up my Pokemon. Hell no. Okay? But I'm very open about that. I never really tried to hide it. That's why I never said I grinded up my Pokemon. I say I leveled up them. <laughs> I'm a little sneaky, but you know, it's fine. There's only a select few of people that really do legit level up and they use like do a grinding montage. You know, props to them. And you know, for keeping, you know, getting EVs on their Pokemon and stuff like that. But I just choose not to because I don't know. I really don't like it. I mean, I do do grinding on like games that, you know, are on like the like the Visual Boy Advanced Simulator, things that you can speed up, but it's just so tedious and takes forever on this. Um, but there are, there are times in this playthrough where I did legit grind. It was only, I think, until... I think two episodes ago, when I started using Rare Candies, because that's when a lot of things died, and I had to level some Pokémon up from a really low level, and it, it was just so hard. 
and so I just decided to say screw it and then level things up and it made it faster and then you know if that wasn't the case you probably wouldn't have got an episode of this for a couple days because I'd just be stuck grinding it takes forever and it sucks and I probably wouldn't want to do it in all sitting in one sitting excuse me but either way enough about that let's talk about this Acerola what's up with you home girl well she got she doesn't have any teeth either a pyroar okay well I think do we have Golurk out front yeah we do all right let's just earthquake this thing Nothing about it really scares me. Um, I don't know what we would fear from this thing. A flamethrower? That shouldn't, it won't kill, so I'm not really too worried. I mean, it could get a burn, which would suck, but it didn't. This earthquake should kill. I mean, this thing is no defenses. Yeah, you're done, you're done for. You have like barely any defense, or at least not enough to be notable. I mean, look at that, level 57. See, I did 50, uh, 56 because I knew we'd level up in here. And I didn't want to be like, you know, oh, dude, what is up with these legendaries? I mean, give or take, this one's a little easier because we're going to send out Delta and Continental Crush it. So it's fine. But damn, all of them so far have had a legendary. Which, granted, it makes it pretty interesting. See, I'm fine with Pokemon like this, but ones that I really can't take out suck. Alright, so this should definitely kill. I don't see a reason why I wouldn't. Red Chase has amazing special defense. I used to mess around with this thing in like NU, I think. I would take advantage of, what is it, base 180 something special defense, which is freaking ridiculous. Such a good wall. I mean, it gets like toxic and thunder wave and stuff like that too. Um, so will this kill? I think so. I think so. Yep, there it is. Look at that, coming in clutch. My homeboy liking rock. Or Delta, as I should say. I kind of like this form of Delta. I really like the Midnight form that we used in our playthrough, but I don't know. I think Midday is pretty sweet. A Cell Rock is also such a good move. I don't know why this one gets a Cell Rock and the other doesn't, though. That just seems a little weird to me. Um, I would totally send out Tank, but I think this thing does get scrappy. And I don't know if we can live a Boom Burst if we do happen... If, oh, if he does happen to have Boom Burst, that is. Because he still... He, he couldn't. There's, there's a chance that he doesn't have Boom Burst, but... Definitely not a chance I want to take. Let's just meteor match this thing. Boom. Let's destroy this thing. I want. I want a boost though. That's what I really want. And I get that young boost. That's that is a pretty decent amount. And I'm just a Metagross. Like I should be able to eat that up any day. So imagine what that would have done to a Golurk if he does have Scrappy. Now I could go for Bullet Punch here. But I really want this boost. I really do. And she, if she, I was gonna say, she's probably gonna use a full restore too, so. This just gives us more chances to get a boost. Doesn't ever seem like we're gonna get it though. Like, come on, just give it to us. Give us a crit boost. Yeah, there we go, we got the boost. All right, cool. That's all I asked for. No, this rest of the battle should be pretty easy as long as, you know, it's not a ground type or something. Because we really don't have anything for ground types now. Wow, she was using... T she used two on this thing. Imagine if since it was a priority move, it hit before... Before uh, it healed. That would be crazy. Oh, easy. Twisted Spoon boosted, Stab boosted. Plus one Zen Headbutt destroying everything. Show me, show me what's living. A Flaffy? Please, this thing's about to get deleted. Look how cute Flaffy is, though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so cute. Oh crap, you're faster. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I shouldn't have talked shit. Die, thank you. Imagine if it critted us, though. I, I would just talk so much smack about a Flaffy and then it kills me. That'd be depressing. Brohawk's level 57. Sweet Swana. Now, this is a Pokemon you definitely don't see a lot of. But I can just go ahead and discharge it. I, I could go for Wild Charge, but then I'd have to heal up a little bit, and there's no point. I'd rather just go for Discharge. This times four, Savage should kill. Uh, plus, we'll get our Electric Surge in a second. Yep, there we go. I'm pretty sure, I know I know you can't fall asleep in Electric Surge, but I'm also pretty sure to boost Electric type moves or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but you should be dead. Yep. Easy. 
Swan is a Pokemon I forget about. It's actually a really cool Pokemon. I like it. I remember how much trouble, um, what's her face? Uh, Skyla's Swana used to give me. 11,000 for beating her. Crazy. I mean, I know she said her family was rich earlier in the game, but damn, that's a lot of money. It's gonna be a longer episode. I really thought it was gonna be on the shorter side, but I guess not. You know, considering we're only battling four trainers, but that's only two down. We're already 20 minutes in. All right, um, let's use that. And let's use that. We have a lot of potions, so I don't have to be too frugal with them. So, uh, who should we lead off with? I like to switch it around a little bit. Um, every, even though everyone's kind of doing their job, let's just do Optimus this time. Let's just lead off with the power. I think that's the best strategy. Um, we got lucky with leading off with Tank that uh, we could kill the Pyroar with the uh, Earthquake. We got lucky. And I just realized, where did Kuku we go? Like, when we left the room, did he... Oh, there he is. Wow, I guess I just didn't see him. Let's do this one. Who is this? Um... Oh, this is the golf girl. What's her name? Kahili? I think that's her name. Yeah, I was so shocked when I saw her. I was like, who the hell is this? I don't know why they decided to make Nanu not a part of this, because he's one of the kahunas. Or Hapu. I think I don't think Hapu because like she just became Kahuna, so I don't know why they would give her the title of Elite Four. Uh, but Nanu for sure. I just it just seems a little weird that Kahili's here. She just seems so out of place. I mean, like, I get why she's here, because, you know, she literally just tells us right there. Uh, but, I don't know. I, I just think I would have liked it if they kept to the theme of all kahunas. It just seems a little weird to change it. But either way, let's take her on, and just really hope she doesn't mess us up too bad. That's all I ask. Alright, let's go. Let's go, homegirl. Trumbeak, wow. Now she's just rubbing it in. Rip. All right, well, unfortunately, Loopy, I'm gonna have to do this to you, buddy. Drill pack. Why is everything faster than us? We're so slow, man. I thought Metagross was faster than this. Guess not. Give us the boosts. You don't, oh, this will be the craziest thing ever, please. Aw, dang it. We never get that boost, man. I mean, we've got a couple times, but Vickabolt. All right, um. I don't know if I wanna play around with this thing. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge, and if I miss it... Oh... Uh, no, no, I just yawned, sorry. I'll probably Continental Crush him. And yeah, see, he's so small! Oh my, oh, see, now I'm actually seeing, like, how big our Vickable was compared to this thing. And I'm pretty sure... When I was actually leveling up, or I, I don't even know I was leveling up, it was when I was playing back up to where, when I lost the, um, episode. I, um, like, lost the recording, and I had to play up. I don't know, I told that story a couple episodes ago. In the route north of Seafolk Village, I found this big ass Alolan Raticate. It was crazy. This thing was humongous. I thought it was gonna eat me. Jeez. So that's really funny that you can find like bigger Pokemon that are totem. I think that's really interesting. But look at these so cute. Oh my god. Why did you bring him to this battle? You're so mean. Oh my god. He's just doing his little adorable thing. He's just being adorable. Being a turtle. But yeah, he has sturdy. Oh, he doesn't have sturdy. So what does he have, Swift Swim? I, I have no idea. Seems a little weird that he doesn't have Sturdy. Whenever I see those things, they always do. Um, I'm just gonna Metagross for this thing. So it's possible that our Pokemon could end up getting up to level 58, which is fine by me, it just means we're on par. That's all that means. I just didn't do 57, so we wouldn't be like 59 or 60 by the time we battled the uh, champion. I have a Meteor Match, should be able to kill. Yep, there you go. Chansey is such a low defense stat that and you could just like flick it and it would die. Uh, Weavile now. Alright, I'm not too worried. Oh, this is making me remember our Weavile. I, dude, I remember Razor. I barely remember Razor, I meant to say. Uh, he's a good Pokemon though. I'm gonna go for Bullet Punch. I don't think it will kill. But two definitely will. Dark Pulse. I was gonna say, that shouldn't kill considering it's, it's a special move. I mean, maybe if it was a Night Slash, it probably could have killed, but that definitely won't. Get out of here. Adios, brochacho. And there's three Elite Four members down. Three down. Delta Grillo 58. 
So yeah, I don't know if Delta will be reaching 59 by the time we uh, beat the last Elite Four members. So I think we should be good on not being higher than the Champion's Ace. I think we should be pretty good. You know, I think you'll bring a breath of fresh air to the Alola battle scene. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Let's see. Um, let's actually use an elixir on Metagross also. Because Meteor Mesh, we, we used a lot of them. All right, so we have one more and it is Hala. So let's see. Uh... If we're able to take him down. So we've seen one Z move this whole time. And I'm still wondering if it's because the ground Z was randomized or it's because uh, one of... Wait, is, is Sandstorm a rock move or a ground move? Hold on. Hold on. Sandstorm. No, not Darude Sandstorm. Sandstorm Pokemon. Um, yeah, it's the move. It's a rock. Okay, so that makes more sense. I was going to say, if it had the Groundium Z, it would have to be randomized. Because why would the rock Kahuna have a ground Z move? That doesn't make any sense. So it's it's a rock move. So it had the Rockium Z, and it just so happens that the Pokemon that was given the Rockium Z also had a rock move. Got it. It was Sandstorm. So that's really interesting. It's speed rose from the Z move. So that could have been potentially really scary. You can see like Z Sandstorm on like a Sand Rush or a Sand Force Pokemon. Oh, <gasps> Z Sandstorm Garchomp with like Sand Force. That'd be insane. Or does that one? That one has Sandstorm, right? I don't know. Primarina. Interesting. All right, Optimus. Let's get him. So you're a Fairy type. Oh, you can catch this bolt much. I know it's going to be neutral because it's obviously water also. Uh, but we can get a boost, you know. We can just run through this guy. But let's see. Moonblast. That's going to do nothing. That's going to do absolutely nothing. We're eating it up. We're eating it up. Free my with you. Oh, so this guy's just got all the starters. Okay. Typhlosion looks so weird without the fire coming out of its back. I don't know why they did that. Like, it only comes out when it attacks. It's not cool. So let's go to Delta here. And I don't think a Cell Rock should kill, so I'm just going to go for Stone Edge probably. Maybe Continental Crush. I don't know. I really just go for Continental Crush when I really don't want to miss Stone Edge. Because whatever Continental Crush we kill, Stone Edge probably will too. Uh, but it doesn't look like this guy will have anything too threatening about us or on us. So I should just go for Stone Edge. And maybe catch something that's incoming. But... Looks like we'll just be catching this Typhlosion with a Stone Edge if we hit it. Perfect. Dead. There we go. So Lycanroc is definitely coming through. I think he's only missed like a couple Stone Edges, but he's hit the crucial one, so that's really cool. Optimus is level 58. Tank is level 58. Powdon. Well, this is definitely not good. I'm gonna have to hit this guy with a go Z move, and I'm gonna really have to hope. But I, I just need to. This thing just can't have like Crunch or something, or Ice Fang. I don't think Ice Fang would. Actually, I don't think either of them will one shot me, considering we're higher leveled, all that stuff. But um, we're definitely gonna have to hit this thing up with a never ending nightmare and do the most damage we can. I don't know how much it will do. This thing is pretty bulky. Well, let's see. Tank surrounded itself with its Z power. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're pretty decent. Oh my God, of course. There's a lot too. Now the only way we're gonna beat this thing is if we play off the fact that he's just, he's really slow. But I need to find a way to get out into my Metagross so I can Zen Headbutt this thing. And unfortunately that's gonna be rather hard to do. Un 
unfortunately. Now, if he has a rock move, I'm going for Roost, because if you don't know, Roost actually gets rid of your flying typing. So, if I go for Roost, and he goes for a rock move, it won't be times four, and we'll be more likely to live it. I wonder if Flail would kill. Probably not. Alright, I'm gonna take a risk. Go for double edge. I dare you. I'm standing up right now. Go for double edge. Please, I cannot lose Metagross. Please go for double edge. Please, please. Yes, thank you. Alright, so now this battle, or this Metagross, relies on if I can hit a Zen Headbutt or not. Because I'm really confident that a Zen Headbutt will kill. But I just need to hit it. Yes, there we go. That should kill. Oh, yes, thank you so much. I wonder if Flail would have killed, though. Probably not. Hot Rod is level 58. Alright. Yan Mega? Um, should be good. Actually, I don't know. I might want to use this to heal up some of my team. You know what? Screw it. Zen Headbutt. It went for a U turn, anyways. Alright. Because obviously we have a Cell Rock, so I'm not worried about this thing at all. The Cell Rock will just obliterate it. Skull. Oh, you're, you're dead. You are dead. <laughs> Yo, get out of here. Get out. 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 Alright. So I'm looking if any of these Pokemon could possibly use a Fighting type Z move, and I'm not really seeing an option. But now I'm just going to go for the uh, Cell Rock, and I'm going to obliterate this thing. That stab boost. Oh, this is about to be. This is about to be terrible. About to be the worst day. Worst day at the office for Yon Mega. Alright. A Cell Rock. Ah! There we go. Alright, so Yon Mega goes down. Not even bad. One more Pokemon. Pre Marina. Oh. Oh, yeah, he switched it out. I was gonna say. Is this the second Free Marine or does he have two? No, I forgot he switched it out and went into, well, went into Typhlosion. Alright. Yep, <laughs> that's such low health. This is about to be easy. I'm just gonna click Wild Charge, or I'm gonna click Discharge. Actually, it doesn't really matter at this point. And that should be the battle, and with that, we have beaten every single member of the Elite Four. And all that means is that next episode, we will be taking on the champion. Unfortunately, we did lose a Pokemon. Electro Ball, I'm good. Uh-huh, I didn't mean to do that. We did lose a Pokemon, so we can't say that we didn't lose a Pokemon through the whole Elite Four. But guys, this might be a Nuzlocke that we win. Because obviously, I mean, we beat the main story of Prism in Nuzlocke mode, but we there's still a post game to that one. And the post game for this one doesn't have any gym badges and stuff like that, so this will be like the end of the main game. Because, I mean, it's not really post game. I don't really know how to count it, but this could be like a full completion in a while. We lost Hoenn White. We lost Blaze Black 2. We lost Prism. All we gotta do is get past Kukui, and then we could have broken the streak. We could have won a, another Nuzlocke. First, we gotta heal. First, we gotta heal. There are a lot of. Tapu Koko took no damage. What a freaking savage. Everyone's doing their part, everyone's coming through. Unfortunately, Cabbage had to go. Um, it's all right, it's definitely all right. So, with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and actually, hold on, first I, get, I, I gotta remember to use an elixir on Stone Edge, because, or max elixir, whatever, it doesn't really matter. There we go. But with that, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you drop a like if you're excited to take on the champion of the Alola region next episode. Like I said, if you guys want to see that video today, drop a like down below. 300 likes in the first hour of this video being up, and I will drop that episode later today at 3 p.m. EST or around that time, something like that. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.